Hey, this is Greg and this is another Wild Edible and Herbal Plants video. Today we're going to be talking about mares tails, Wild Edible and Herbal Plants number 42. But before we do that, we got to do the disclaimer. A lot of things out there are good to eat, good for you. Some of them taste great. A lot of others, they're not. Some can make you very sick and some can even kill you. We are going to be talking about a limited amount of uh, herbal benefits for this plant today. So I got to give you the other disclaimer. I am not a doctor nor a master herbalist. I do not diagnose nor treat any illness. If you're suffering from anything, don't start a course of treatment until after you've consulted with a doctor or master herbalist. Okay, with that done, we're going to be talking about mares tail, horseweed, Canadian horseweed, horse tail. Uh, there's quite a few common names for it. Latin name is con. Coniza canadensis. Coniza canadensis. Now this plant is native to the United States and uh, we'll put the map right here. Now like so many plants, we like so many plants, we try to time it just right. Now it's tall and straight. In the springtime the the leaves are actually get further out. They'll get on out there as it grows they'll dry up and fall off and then they continue up the stem until they go to their seed heads here all right now this plant the leaves uh, native americans used it as a tea to uh, treat constipation they actually used uh, not constipation i'm sorry diarrhea they used it to treat dysentery now um when it's very young, you can take the entire thing, cut it off of the ground when it's about oh, 08 inches tall or so, kind of mash it into a pulp and boil it and eat it. As it gets older, however, that kind of goes the way of the dodo. Now, it is does have a very fuzzy texture. It's not very deep rooted most of the time. The leaves can be dried and used as a spice. It's never it's never toxic. It's never toxic. Um, the flavor of the leaves has been somewhat compared to tarragon. Um, to me, it's like a, I don't know, a basil-y, not quite basil, but it's sim uh, similar to basil. So, and, and it can be stored for a long time. A lot of people use this as a as a spice just the leaves dried it stores quite well as far as practical uses that stem is just as straight as it can be see so there are a lot of people who use the stems of mare's tail to as a uh, fire starter with a hand drill uh, it's not strong enough to take a bow drill but it works really well as a hand drill um, in fact, a lot of times you don't even need the little V V type notch. You just need a decent depression So uh, this one's good to know a little bit all the way around um, Now there is one more thing that I wanted to, to mention These leaves have actually been proven that when dried and stuck in uh, Like sleeping bags and things like that that it does in fact repel fleas So that's a good thing to know. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it this is uh, number 42 again. If you like this sort of thing, give the, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and of course, consider subscribing. We're bumping up close to, you know, we're nearly to that magic thousand subscriber number, so I'd, I'd appreciate you coming along for the ride. Step by step, we're bringing real back. Have a great day. Bye-bye.